Well, I enjoy, I enjoy it, but, but I, I make some money out of it and I'm getting a message across. I never have any negativity about it. It's always like positive. Even this summer, I was doing some street art and the British Army had a stall beside me and the guy comes, he saw my drawings were all anti-war and stuff and peace drawings and he came up and he asked me if I could draw the company logo and I just looked at him and as if he was from a different planet, you know, and I said, you're joking, pal. You know, it's quite funny, I was having a crack with him. And so it's worth a try. All my life I've known that you've done your street art. When I was at school, during the festival, I would grab some chalks from the art class with the permission of my art teacher, who used to always encourage me with my art, because I used to go to art classes after school, which I had to pay for. From leaving school, I met loads of friends up town, punks, drinking. Uh, we went to British Home Stores. We used to get these big glass demijohns up Exhibition Cider, and uh, we'd just drink all that, run out of money. Let's go and like, uh, steal some chalks for John Menzies, out of town, and just drew things that were at the top of our heads that we remembered, like from like punk fanzines and punk album covers, and it was all anti-war stuff or anti-Thatcher stuff, anti-Reagan. Do you consider the work art or propaganda for what you're thinking, like, as a way I of spreading your political message? Vandalism, yeah. <laughs> so, but if, if you were to put it into art or propaganda, which would you prefer it to be? This art, of course this art, all... All art is propaganda, all propaganda is art, like, you know. This went down really well, spot the real clown. Like, as you can see, there's the real clown there. His name is David Cameron, and he's had his head chopped off and his blood dripping down. That went down really well every time I done that. My auntie Sandra was in town when I drew that, and she thought it was brilliant. She said, Mama, but if my mum was alive, she would be proud of this drawing. That was done during the festival as well. It went down excellently with everyone. As you're doing it, and now that you've got a family, um, you've got your two kids and a wife, did that change the way you looked at your street art at all, like, did, or the way you went about it, because you had a more routine life? Than... Yeah, it saved me money, because I'm not drinking all my money now. It goes on the kids. And what do they think of it? They think it's great. Yeah. I mean, then uh, I've got a wee garden, a wee bit of pavement outside. And, uh, in the summer, they're out there drawing with the chalks. Has there been any point where you thought of giving it up? Like when you started your family or anything? Was there yeah. any time when you no. thought? I'll still be there when I'm a pensioner.